Hey guys, Paul Ash here. Welcome to another inbox review. Today we're looking at a PZY Kitbox Porsche 911 GT3. This is literally just arrived on my doorstep, literally about an hour ago. Uh, I've been waiting for this. I've got an early release. It's a beta pre production version of the kit as it says on the top of my kit i don't have any instructions because they weren't printed at the time i got sent this so hopefully one of the first reviews you'll see of this around um and i'm going to start building this pretty much straight away i've been looking forward to this one quick look through the box we'll have a chat in a minute about a few of the bits in there um but really excited with this one looking forward to getting started with it so let's jump straight in and have a look what we get in the box Right then, here we go. So the PZY Kitbox Porsche 911 GT3 RS combo version. Porsche 992, absolutely a fantastic looking box art. I love the look of this. I love this white one with the red. Picking the colour of this build is going to be a nightmare. <sighs> I really don't know. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. So as you can see by my notes at the top, this is a beta version for test building. There's no instructions in this one. Uh, it is a very early release. I don't think it's due out until next week. I think it is. I've got an early release. Um, and I'm going to start building this almost immediately as well. So you will see this out there soon. So you've got the longer box. I'm not too keen on the longer boxes. I prefer the squarer ones like the BMW came in. But that's a small niggle. Um, nice picture on the side as well of that beautiful white one with the red trim and red wheels, which looks absolutely fantastic. And on the other side, the green one with the different wheels not so keen on those wheels which is a good point or a good um yes for good you'll see why in a minute we do have a little bit of damage in the kit unfortunately um but yes crafted in china and yes here we go so we'll open it up i have had a quick very very quick look through very well packed plenty of bubble wrap several bags of parts i'll zoom out a touch so you can see a bit better so we'll pop them over there. We've got wheels, which there is sadly a broken wheel in there, which is a shame. But luckily, it's not all the ones I wanted to use. I prefer that style of wheel. But we'll look at that in a minute. And no doubt, uh, Kitbox would have no issue in giving you a new wheel because I've had stuff off them. Absolutely perfect. We've got some more parts in there. We've got the body shell that's bubble wrapped in there. <coughs> and we've got a whole host of decals. And other bits and bobs, photo etch and what have you in there as well. So we'll have a look at that in a minute too. So we'll start with the larger bit. And I have, like I say, opened this. I have had a quick look. I wanted to make sure everything was okay. I haven't checked everything off because I have no instructions. Not until I print them off later. But I do have an online copy. So we'll have a look at those at the end separately. So the body shell. Let's take it all out of its component parts there we go so we've got the body shell floor pan interior front splitter rear diffuser absolutely fantastic quality resin as usual absolutely flawless it really is beautiful i'm going to zoom back in so you can have a little look and then i'll put it all together so you can see this beautiful car all in one piece so we've got a little bit of dust in the panel lines. So just get a scriber in there. Literally get your scriber and literally just run it through. Job done. There we go. That's that big gone. You're always going to get a little bit, but the body shell is beautifully. Is it poured resin? I'm guessing it is. Yes, there's the pour stubs there. So it is poured resin. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely shape. Love this little spoiler on the back of this. I think that's a really nice touch on this car. It's very, very pretty. We've got some interior detail inside. We've got the sun visors, the interior mirror, lights, etc. in there. Uh, obviously, there's a curbside kit, which is what these are. But resin, absolutely fabulous quality. Flawless. Absolutely beautiful. Give this a quick once-over with... Um, some 3000 grit Tamiya sponge and then a degrease pro scale degreaser. And this is ready for paint. Absolutely, really easy to do. Very little needed. I don't even think it really needs rescribing. The panel lines look beautiful on it. 
really nice. Now, I was sent this for free by PZY. They are great people to talk to, as are ALF models as well, not that I compare on them both. Um, I'm honest in my reviews. If you see my review I took down the other week, you know I'm honest in my reviews. So even though I've been given this, I will still give my honest opinion. So flawless resin, absolutely beautiful. There's not a mark on there. Everything is perfectly cast. Panel lines are beautiful, like I say, and it just looks absolutely, just looks absolutely beautiful. Chassis, a little bit of detail underneath, which I'm sure this real car would have as well. It's going to be a flat bottom car, isn't it? More than like I'd have thought. So a little bit of detail on there. We've got the interior tub, which has got ultra thin resin on the seat. So you can see through that. So, again, not much to look at in there. Will this be flocked? I reckon it will. I reckon it'll have carpet. We've got the front splitter and these winglets on the side there as well. <coughs> again, beautifully cast resin. Really nice cast. And this beautiful rear diffuser. You have to be very careful of these winglets here. But the rear diffuser is lovely on there. Really nice. And if we chuck it all together quickly, because obviously I want to... Pack it back in if I can do this without dropping everything like a, a clumsy oaf. So the interior will screw in at the back there and there. That's a nice touch. I like that. And then that floor pan will go is it that way. Maybe. And then that. <coughs> there we go. That does slot on there like that. And then this one. Will slot well in there like that. So there we go. Look at that back end. Oh, just look how aggressive that car is. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Really, really nice. And then the front end. It's such an aggressive looking Porsche. It really is. Really, really pretty. Very, very nice. So no issues there. These parts they literally just slot in and out. That they fit absolutely perfect. So you're going to have no issues there. And that is one beautiful looking machine. That really is pretty, pretty epic. That is. I like that a lot. So we'll pop that there. We've got a few bits of flash of resin, which you're going to get. I'm just going to open each one of these bags and go through and see what we've got. Let's have a look. Hopefully, we've got no other breakages. So we've got our seats. Roll cage, mirrors, seat inserts there as well. The seats are beautiful. Door cards, dashboard, more door cards, center console, side skirts, which will go at the front there, won't they? They'll go there and there. Oh, God, they look good. Yeah, so they, if I can hold all this together like an octopus here with this. Will fit there like that. Look at that. Look how aggressive that thing is. It's a crazy looking car. It really is mental. Absolutely awesome. So there's a few tricky bodywork panels on this. They're going to take a little bit of care. <coughs> We've got all sorts here. All sorts of seats are lovely. The seats really are pretty much strain you up. Got these little inserts to go on the bottom there as well. So seats are beautiful. Very, very nice. They're very, very nice seats. Got door cards again with some nice trim detail on them. Got dashboard. All the instruments will be separate. So they look good as well. Got our side skirts, one for each side, obviously. There, we've got our roll cage here and here. There must be another part, is there? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how that goes in there. Where will that go in? Don't know. We've got roll cage parts, more door cards, rear seats. We've got a another body panel. Is that going to be the boot lid? It looks like it, but it ain't. Where do you go then? That has to be the boot lid. Does that go there like that? I am not sure. I'll look through the instructions in a bit. 
center console again nice bit of detail on there <coughs> oh i am assuming this part of rear spoilers i don't know i'm gonna clue on the parts technically but like i say we'll go for the instructions in a bit we'll get the digital copies i've got up and we'll have a look but resin really clean really crispy done this is going to build up nice just like the other f8 here did which was absolutely fantastic Really, really nice. There's the swan neck support to the spoiler. Wow, the smidge good detail on those. Be careful you don't break any of those bits off. Jeez, that'll be easily done. Yeah, no problem in there. Then we have some small bits. I can already see a piece off the sprue there. Two, right, so we've got Headlights, steering wheel, etc. More body panels, I think. More bits and bobs. I need to pretend to know what they are. We've got this here. We've got the instruments. Sorry, the door card, armrests, steering binnacle with a couple of broken off bits, which is unfortunate. But they are there and they can be glued back on. Very, very delicate parts. Very delicate. Are the gear knob? Got the centre of the steering wheel. <coughs> which will pop in there like that. Oh, hang on. The steering wheel is actually broken as well. That's a real shame as well. Yes, that is a shame. Easily fixed, even though it shouldn't be needing to. It is easily fixed. A little bit of CA glue will fix that, no problem. Like so. That's a shame, but hey, it is what it is. Excuse me, I need a drink. My throat is killing me. Right. <clears throat> Got more parts. Again, I have no idea what they are whatsoever. Look like intake scoops. Door handles. There too. Looking good. So a few broken bits. Always a shame. It is. Thankfully, they're all saveable. As in, the bits that have just broken off can be glued back together. I'm not excusing that. They shouldn't break in the first place. It is a pain when they do that. But on things like that, they are unbelievably delicate because they're so small, the parts. The <coughs> well, it isn't excusable. It is going to happen from time to time. Uh, it is a real shame, and I will contact them, especially for that steering wheel. It's a focal point of the car, so I would like to get that to be perfect. But sometimes things it just happens, unfortunately. It really does. Like I say, not excusing it at all. And sadly, we've got more broken bits in here, because I know one of the wheels is already broken. I've already seen it. So, one of these is broke, which is there, which is a real shame. Thankfully, I don't like that wheel. I much prefer that one. So that will be the one I use. I'll still contact them and get them off them. Um, because, obviously, I have the choice. Tyres are really good. Treaded and Michelin marked as well. So very nice. I do much prefer that wheel to that one. I think it's a... A much more interesting looking wheel. But again, shame it's broke. It shouldn't be. Not excusing that at all. We've got the discs and the hubs here. Which are uh, not marked on this one. They were marked on... Oh, yes, they are. They are marked. Front left. Front right. Front left. Everywhere. So we've got those, we've got the discs, like I say, we've got the calipers there. And the hubs for the wheels as well. So they're looking good. And another one there too. So there must be different centers for the different wheels. 
for some reason, these ones are on big, long spokes. A bit odd. Never mind. Like I say, real shame about the broken wheel. I will contact Kitbox, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? Luckily, it's not the one we want to use. It's not the point. They shouldn't be broken. Again, completely agree. But it just does happen from time to time. Obviously, we'll have photo etch for the brakes as well. Um, so if you ever do get any problems, just message your companies. They'll sort you out. They're, they're nearly decent. And as I say, the guy from PZY, uh, Lee, I think his name is, absolutely great. Spoke to him many times, and he's a really nice guy. Right then, so we've got headlight lenses in what looks to be pretty decent. Clear resin. Yeah, it's not too bad. I've seen worse. Not too bad at all. Got some chrome bits here as well. Going to guess they're part of the headlight system as well. Very nice. Got a big iconic light bar for the back of the car as well. Big clear molded resin piece. More rear lights too. Big swooping resin lights. And some black chrome exhaust tips. Which are really well done. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Excuse my fingernails. I've been mixing paint this morning, so I'm covered in all sorts of crap. It's an unexpected impromptu review, this one, because it just literally turned up on my door. In there, we have a bag of screws and ribbon for your seatbelt in four different colors. You've got red, black, blue, and green in there. So nice to get the options. A few pence of ribbon makes all the difference in the bill. You can choose which color seatbelt you want. And then there, loose, are, let me have a look at that. Are they actually rivets? Or are they the, they're the tire valves, aren't they? And rivets. There's a few tire valves in there, looks like. And rivets as well in the bottom of there. So if you open that back, be careful you don't lose those bits. And when you put your stuff back in, Sure, you close the bag properly. So that's all the actual parts. Like I said, we've got a few broken parts. Thankfully, one's on a set of wheels we're not going to use. The indicators on the stalk we can um, fix back on. Steering wheel, you know, it's a bit of a pain. And while I say it's not excusable, shouldn't happen at all in any kit. No part should arrive broken. It does happen from time to time. And I know for a fact if I talk to them, they'll send me them out. So I won't need those parts immediately, so I get on to them today, and hopefully I will get the wheels as well because it's nice to have the choice. Um, but overall, the parts are really, really good. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look through everything in here. And like I said, this is a pre-production uh, beta sample, so it's not how it will be when you get it. So I'm going to put everything over there. We're going to put the decals to there. Got the clear parts here. You got your typical clear parts you get on these kits, acetate, a bit of careful CA gluing, and they're not normally an issue, and they look okay as usual. In here, we've got some metallic decals. There, I'm going to guess there for like lights and what have you, the mirrors, so on and so forth. All in there, they look good. And then we've got some metallic Porsche logos. Here as well, and they're always a welcome addition. Come on, focus. Give me a tap. There we go. Always a welcome addition to get in the kit. They look so much nicer than your standard decals. I'm going to glint. There we go. And then we're on to the typical placard, which is nice to get with these kits. I do like these. They are very, very smart. Then we've got our brakes. Cross drilled discs there as well. Very nice. We've got some number plates, window wipers, flappy paddle gearboxes, seatbelt parts, foot controls, foot pedals, and what have you. Got those as well. Headlight surrounds, 
GT3 RS badges. There as well. A few more PE parts there too. There we go. And then some surrounds for the windows. Oh my god, look how thin the B pillar part is there. Wow. You're going to have to be unbelievably careful cutting those off. Got some grills on there as well. Seatbelt parts, they are going to be extra, extra fragile. They're going to take some very careful cutting. <sighs> Yes, look forward to those, and then decals. So we'll start with the, this decal sheet first. We've got a lot of carbon in here. So I'm trying to see, does it give us the carbon? For that. No. Is that for it? No, nope, that's not for it either. Okay, so we get no carbon for the rear diffuser. That's a bit disappointing, unless I'm reading things wrong. But the decals are nice. The carbon for the seat backs of the seats. Seat backs of the seats. For the backs of the seats. Spoiler, we've got some nice Porsche decals. I'm assuming that's for the interior, is it? Is this it? I don't know. We'll have to look through the instructions and figure it out. But the decals look really good. Like I say, we've got some carbon. It would have been nice to get all the carbon for the um, diffuser as well. But I don't know. We'll have a look. And then the main decal sheet, which we've got the seat, middles. I'm assuming these are trims for the seats as well. It's like the stitching on the seats. That's a really nice touch. Wow, they're going to be a nightmare. They're going to be fun. Beautiful GT3 logos for the side of the car. I really do like that green. Though. The green looks good in full length. Why do we not get the reds in full length? That's a bit annoying. But decals look really good. All the instruments here as well. Center pieces, accent trims, more Porsche logos. You don't use the metallic ones. So you've got a good choice in there of what to use as well. So they look really, really good. So yeah, spot on. Decals look good. A um, bit disappointed not to get carbon for this, unless it's not carbon, which I'll be very, very surprised if it isn't. It's not the end of the world. It's not the di most difficult thing to carbon. What the hell else is carbon on the car? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But uh, there we go. That's everything in the box. A few breakages. We'll go back. I'm going to go uh, do a screen time, and we'll have the digital instructions that I've got of the kit. Right, now as I say, I don't have any paper instructions for this, so we're going to go with the digital download that was sent. So, first sheet shows some um, actual colour callouts for this, um, with the uh, red stripe, red wheels, white combo, which looks epic, and a Porsche 935, I think it is, the Newman, uh, like tribute throwback. They, they both look spectacular. That Newman one looks epic. Um, but I think I like the original throwback to the RS, the red with the white. Um, there's also the green version as well. Picking a colour for this car is going to be a nightmare. It really is. There's so many cool colours out there. But this white and red combo is just calling me. I just think it looks absolutely phenomenal. i got a feeling this is going to be one I do. Um, I've not done a white car for, well, as I say in a minute, I don't think I've ever, ever done one before on a road car. So I think this will be what we do going forward. But... Whatever you call the idea of this in, this thing is going to look absolutely epic. Um, but for me, as soon as I saw the white box art, I kind of fell in love with it. And I think that's probably the route I'll end up going in. But whichever way you go, you can't go wrong with this. It's a beautiful looking car and a great looking kit as well. So I think it's going to look great. That Newman scheme is very cool. I do like that one. The instructions are in no particular order. So we're all over the shop here. It's so like I say, there's the green version there, which again... Absolutely stunning. I'm going to be hard pressed to pick between the red and the green. I think the red wins out for me just, but the green one looks epic as well. So I don't know. Got all the interior parts there as well. The decals on the seats, which look epic. Got some carbon decals for the roof. That's what those are. And the bonnet as well, which I, I don't like. Not a fan of those at all. 
but they're there should you wish to add them. Um, I don't think the roof one will look too bad, uh, but the bonnet one, I don't like at all. So I'm not sure what's going on there at all. Um, it looks a bit odd. Uh, rear spoiler going together. There's that engine cover there. We did have the correct part in place and the headlight assemblies as well, which look nice and complicated. So this thing is going to be quite a difficult build. It's going to be quite an intense uh, build to do because there's a lot of parts for it. But I think it's going to be a fun build and it's going to look phenomenal when it's done. Done. It's going to look great. Like I say, the biggest decision I've got is color choice. It's, I'm going to keep going about this because I'm really struggling. I normally see a car and get a color in my head and go for it. This one, there's just too many good choices. Onto the interior now. We've got the carbon backs on the seats, you can see. Um, the roll cage, that's how it sits like that. The bar goes behind it. I was a bit confused by that. Seats look great. We've got the seat trim to go on as well. Um, the dashboard, the door cards in place and the proper interior in. Got the exhaust in place and the rear diffuser, side skirts going on, the brake disc and calipers, the wheels and the tyre orientation as well because they are handed. So make sure you get the right side round. But looks great. Um, we've got some assembly, assembly instructions apparently according to the top of that page. Assembly. Yeah. Okay. Assembly instructions. There we go. So, uh, yeah, these are nice, clear instructions. Um, it gets a bit more confusing in a minute with the legends for the decals and the photo etch. Um, but overall, it should be crazy to follow. Now, you see what I mean here now. At the top left is all the different decals um, for the different versions. There's a standard version, the classic RS version. Is it Wasna version, the blue one? And the 995 Newman one, 935 Newman. Uh, I couldn't quite make out the writing on these. The resolution's not great on the pictures. Um, but whichever one you choose is great. But they're all the decals needed for each one. And then if you look on the instructions themselves, the green is a photo etch, I believe. And the orangey red color is a decal. Or the other way around. It's one or the other. Um, it's just got a scribing template there as well for the fuel filler cap and the towing eyes. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of decals going on this interior. You're really gonna have to pay attention. They're gonna be all different colors depending on what scheme you pick as well. So choose wisely and make sure you pay attention to what you're doing because it's a very, very, very busy interior. So like I say, the legends are there are in the middle section of the left-hand side page just there. So green and red are the P decals and PE. Make sure you get the correct ones and put them all in the right place so a little bit of care and time is going to be needed here because like i say it is very busy and very complicated so make sure you take your time and pay attention to what the instructions are calling out and pay attention to a particular variant you're doing we turn the page again which we will any second i think there we go there's our part layout the all important part layout to tick off your parts all the uh, photo etches there, the decals are there, there's some assembly instructions and a key to the legends there as well on the instructions. So go through, check your parts off, make sure you get everything. It's a very, very important step. There's a shadow of a doubt, so always make sure that you do it. And then if we move on again, we just go back through the instructions very quickly. So instructions don't look too bad. I think in paper form to be a lot more interesting and easier to read. Um, but I can still make head or tail of these. It's not going to be any difficulty at all. And it looks like it's going to be a fantastic kit. There we go. Let's go back to me with some final thoughts. There we go. That's it. What can we say? It's disappointing to get broken apart. It always is. Thankfully, it's not something that we need. If it had been the wheel we wanted, it would have been a pain. It really would. Thankfully, it isn't. Steering wheel can be fixed. Uh, steering column can be fixed as well. It's not the end of the world. It shouldn't happen. I completely agree. Uh, and they will send out spares. I know they're good at kit box. Um, so I'll get those sorted. Hopefully I'll get some paper instructions as well because they'd be nice to get at the same time. Two, it looks a really nice kit. The resin's top quality again. The body is just stunning. It really is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think the hard decision I've got is the colour. What the hell do I do? I love the white. I think it looks epic in white. I've not done a white road car ever i can think of i don't think i've ever done a white road car 
that I can think of the top of my head. So it'd be different as well. So we might go white on this one. Yes, we might. We'll see. Uh, there's lots of colours out there. <laughs> it's so difficult to choose. Like I say, I've having Pro Scale. Everything's at my fingertips. I can pick and make any colour I want. Um, but the kit looks really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to starting this one. I've got the Aston Martin I'm building at the minute to get out of the way. Uh, and then we're going to crack on with this and get it all uh, prepped and ready for paint. So, yes, there we go. Thank you very much to Kitbox for sending me the review sample. Um, hopefully I can get those broken pieces replaced. It's not drastic, but it's still nice to get it done. Kit looks great. The resin quality is fantastic. Decals are great. The photo etch, what looks a bit scary in places, is top quality as always. And I think it's going to build up to be a nice kit. It's going to look epic, this thing. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. So, yes, let me know your thoughts on my colour choice down below. What should I do? Should I do white with the red or the green? Should I go like acid green, a really bright green colour? Should I go for purple or blue? Whatever. If we go on Porsche's configurator on their site and pick the 99, two seconds. Did tell 992. We no, no, drink over 992. You can use the configurator to go for all the colors, the wheel options, the interior colors, the lot. And if you click on optional colors down the bottom, there's loads, loads and loads of colors for it. So let me know your thoughts on the color and what I should do. There we go. As always, if you want to keep supporting these videos, I have a Patreon link down below. With that, you get access to all the three part video build series, which you don't get on IS7 anymore. You're going to get the single condensed, shorter videos. Um, the three-part longer videos are full talk-through, full explanation, showing everything in depth. You get a month's early access on all the videos as well. This one's only gone out today because it's a review and I wanted to get it out there quick. Uh, you get access to an exclusive Facebook Messenger group chat, a Facebook Messenger page. Um, you get exclusive videos. All the perks in there are listed on my Patreon. You can pick which tier you want to be. And it keeps these videos going. Without your support, I couldn't keep doing these videos. So any and all support is appreciated. You also PayPal me and a Buy Me Coffee link if you want to do a one-off donation down below as well. And there's links in the description to everything from ProScale Paint, UMP, ISM um, Facebook page and forum, the Live at the Bench, Software Hangout groups, my stash is there, my scalemates. Uh, there's an email address to get in touch with me. And of course, if you're watching, make sure you sub to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. It's always good to get thumbs up on the video. Click the bell notifications, get notified of all the latest videos, and leave a comment. Love reading all your comments. Let me know what do you think of this Porsche. Let me know what you think of the kit. Let me know what colour you think I should do. Where should I go with this, and what should we do? Are you thinking of buying it? I think all the pre initial copies are sold already. Um, so are they going to make more? I don't know, but this is going to be epic. This is going to look fantastic. I've just got to pick a colour. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that review. Thanks for watching today. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.